so let's take a little trip inside. So lather and salt was discovered. Lather and Salt was open two years ago on Mother's Day weekend and we have so many great things to offer. So starting over here in this corner, what we have are uh, laundry soaps and linen sprays. So starting over here in this corner, we have laundry soaps. So starting over here in this corner, we have laundry soaps and linen sprays. We also have candles and essential oils for diffusers. We have lots of fragrance oils for pulpery and linen squares or even a nice freshener in your car. We also have sachets for drawers. So moving over to this section of the store, we have our bath bombs, lots of bath bombs, and some bath salts as well for meditation or relaxing. We have a whole bunch of soaking salts, and also up top, last but not least on this rack, our bubble baths. So there's a close-up of some of our bubble bath, which is just awesome. So if we move over here, what we have is um, a nice assortment of what we call our signature soap. So signature soaps consist of an olive oil base. It's a Bastille soap and we have so many different kinds. Um, some of the standout favorites, of course, are Lavender Dreams and Summer Love. Um, new, uh, just this season, of course, is our Gardener Scrub. So. Here's a fun picture of the texture that Gardener Scrub has. It's a citronella base with coffee and pumice and cornmeal for scrubbing. And also here is a picture of our label. So this is some awesome Gardener Scrub soap. Um, Take Me Back was the first soap that was uh, developed. It has a nice blend of strawberry and olive oil um, infused um, with calendula as a base. So this one is fun. This one that's all gone. This is uh, pine and tart sugar. So pine and tart sugar uh, sells out pretty quickly, but we keep it stocked up. So um, on the lower rack here, just adjacent to the bath bombs, we have um, in the cute little packages is our spiced vanilla soap, which is sitting right next door. And those make great little gifts. Of course, the, everybody needs to get scrubbed. So we have our whole loofahs and our loofah slices. And these bags are actually quite cool. So these are sudsing bags. Um, sudsing bags provide you um, a nice place to put all your little soap bits. So as you're using your soap, so you don't end up um, with you know little pieces floating around, you pop your pieces in that soap bag. And what it does is keep them and the lather just comes right through the bag. And you don't need to remove it. And you have a nice way of saving all your soap pieces. So as we move over to the center section, we have um, our glycerin soap. So glycerin soaps, we have um, a lot of different kinds of these too. Glycerin, it differs from the signature soaps in that it's a, a coconut oil base as opposed to an olive oil base. And it also uh, has the ability to provide a very pungent, fresh scent. So um, sometimes with the signature soaps, they're a lot more rich. The lather is a lot more rich, but that also plays into how the fragrance comes across. It tends to be a little softer, a little more subtle. With the glycerin soap, you're just getting a pow of fragrance. So of course, uh, when you love coconut, you want that really just banana boat coconut fragrance um, that reminds you of the tropics. You know, if you uh, are a, uh, just a cucumber melon lover, um, this beautiful green soap here is cucumber melon and it smells divine, it's so nice. Um, we also have, of course, our natural line of soaps, um, which, you know, this one down here is great. This is eucalyptus and activated charcoal, which is really great. And then also here, um, this one, we need to restock these guys, but this is our um, sweet orange and everything in the store that has, you know, all natural ingredients has a natural product tag, so they're easy to identify. So um, moving to the third section of the store, uh, what we have is um, all of our shave soaps and shave bowls. 
we have two different kinds of old-fashioned shave soaps, um, one being Tahitian Vanilla and the other being Crisp Leather. So they're in the jars back there. Um, nice shave bowls provided to us by Bruning Pottery, which is just right up the way. Um, when you get done shaving, of course, you want to moisturize your skin, and that's where the Shea Butter Balm comes in. It's an unscented Shea Butter-based um, moisturizer. It's very thick and nice. It won't doesn't have any perfume in it to, to irritate, you know, any nicks or cuts on your skin, um, but it provides a very dewy, lovely complexion. It can also be used on your lips, so it's safe for your whole face. Um, here we have our um, Travel Tins uh, Shave Soap. So. These are really nice for people who um, like a very clean appearance in their, in their bathroom. Um, glycerin soaps have a wonderful build to them, so if you have a thicker beard, uh, it's very nice for building up your whiskers so you get a nice close shave. There's a lovely oil in these shave soaps that conditions your complexion as well, and the scent is amazing. So um, some favorites, of course, are patchouli and sandalwood. We also have lavender, and neroli is a very fresh orange blossom scent. So as we move down here, as we move down here, these are all of our salt soaps. So a salt soap is actually a kind of a cool, kind of a different kind of soap. The lather tends to be flat and creamy, a bit like lotion, but it's rather exfoliating. So a salt soap is beneficial if you like a very hard, long lasting bar of soap. It's also nice if you like a very, um, um, polished smooth complexion our salt soap here the unscented in the large huge loaf um, that one is wonderful for exfoliating your face so that uh, softens your complexion gets rid of all those little bumps you know that we kind of get on our forehead and maybe on our chin and it's very nice at smoothing things out um, and then these are um, full salt bars so we have um, anise and clove over here in the corner and it moves on to spring grass, which is a fresh grass scent. There's seawater, which is a nice, fresh, kind of a masculine scent. Of course, salted patchouli. And then lemongrass, which is lovely and very popular. So here are some little uh, soap accoutrements when we are talking about um, getting a nice fluffy lather. Starting on the left are our um, poofs. These are our salt bar poofs. They're, very, they're much softer than a store-bought poof. Um, soft on your skin. They, they provide a very dense, creamy lather. Uh, these in the middle here, these are fun. These are poof bags. So these are more of your store-bought poof, but you're able to put your soap inside. So the soap just comes through and you can hang it up and uh, let your soap dry out. And then of course we have big, nice fluffy sponges. So moving on to the uh, last wall here in the store, we move on, we have all of our perfume oils. So perfume oils, we have many different selections. Um, our blends of essential and perfume oils. We also have um, all essential blends, which are um, nice for aromatherapy. So restful nights, um, memories, you know, the lavender for relaxation, patchouli for just a calm state of mind, those kinds of things. Um, below that, we have all of our lotions. These primarily are body lotions. Body lotions you, um, you can use on your face, of course, but I recommend that people always kind of steer clear of using any perfumes on their face just to avoid buildup. Um, but these are lovely. They're so thick and so creamy. And of course, paraben and formaldehyde free like everything else in our store. Um, can't forget the men folks. So we have a nice assortment of beard oils. If you like your beard nice and shiny and manageable and your, um, the skin underneath your beard to be conditioned and, um, flake free beard oil is the way to go for sure. So on this nice tower here, what we have are our lotion bars. So lotion bars, um, people, people, some are familiar, but some are unfamiliar with the lotion bar. A lotion bar is a, a very kind of hard, buttery uh, bar, and it melts with your skin warmth. Um, so they're great to use on warm skin. If you're just out of the bath or just out of the shower, a lotion bar is the way to go. So it leaves a nice kind of a waxy, moisturizing quality on your skin. Um, the benefit of a lotion bar is that um, the, the moisture, it's very protective. So a lotion bar has a lot of butter and beeswax in it, and it's more of a protective kind of an avenue for treating your skin. Um, it's great at conditioning because it's a, it allows your natural oils to stay in your skin. It's also really good if you wash your hands often. 
Um, the other application in the summertime, um, when maybe you don't need as much moisture, is when you shave your legs. So there's nothing like a lotion bar on freshly shaved legs to prevent that ashy look all day. It keeps your legs just shiny and pretty. Very good, very good product. Um, here are our butters. Now our butters are um, getting a little low because of course we don't make them in the summer. So this is the last of our body butter. Um, we do continue to make the lavender um, body butter cream, which is um, all natural lavender essential oil because it's so good for even like bug bites or you know anything like that. And it's got a little bit of a lighter texture, so people just really like it. Um, so down here we go on to our complexion care. So we have a whole line of complexion care soaps and products. Um, uh, on the right we have our shea butter and French clay which is wonderful for very oily skin and in the middle we have our shea butter and goat milk which is lovely on um, complexions that are maybe more mature, definitely stable and tend to be dry. And then here we have our number seven black. Number seven black is our most popular bar. It's made with lots of activated charcoal so it's somewhat exfoliating and also very cleansing. Um, it's also made with tea tree and sweet fennel and um, lime oils which are all good at fighting inflammation. So here is our aloe silk lotion. It is paraben and formaldehyde free of course and it is unscented and very rich. So this is our face lotion. It's wonderful underneath um, cosmetics as well. And then last but not least in our complexion line is our dense clay drawing bar. So our dense clay drawing bar uh, is kind of a shortcut to a clay mask. Now I always recommend a full clay mask when you have the time and the and the energy for that, but um, in a pinch or on a daily basis, you can watch with the French clay drawing mask. You wash your face, leave it on for a few minutes while you're washing your hair. It's awesome at um, just kind of detoxifying your skin on a daily basis. It too is unscented and made with bentonite clay. So below our complexion care line, we have our mani-pedi section. So our mani-pedi section has our peppermint and vanilla foot scrub. Um, it also has, we also carry pumice stones and then we also carry a peppermint and cinnamon solid foot scrub. Um, we have massage oil candles over here and then we also have massage and bath salt oil as well. So all of our bath salt oils contain peppermint and then there's blends of say lavender peppermint, grapefruit and peppermint, um, you know that amber and peppermint which is my favorite. So here at the register where all the magic happens, we uh, have all of our sugar scrubs. So sugar scrubs um, are also paraben and formaldehyde free. They are amazing. So if you love a wonderful soft complexion that's well exfoliated and you love the smell of a beautiful perfume, sugar scrub is the way to go. So um, probably our most popular sugar scrub is our Summer Love, which is just right here. And there's a lot of them because I just replenished them. But Summer Love is a blend of melon, in pear and bergamot and it's to die for. So we make it in a soap and a bath bomb as well and it's lovely. Um, below our sugar scrubs we have our loofah soaps. Loofah soaps actually have a slice of loofah in them so they're quite fun. Um, if you'd like a very coarse scrub or just want, want a lovely hand soap, uh, loofah soaps are definitely the way to go. So something interesting that this store carries um, definitely takes me home every time I walk in our oyster shells. So our oyster shells are harvested off the um, Willapa Bay and they're huge and beautiful and people have used them for many things. You know we intended them to be used as soap dishes but people use them for all sorts of things. So just to show you how this works you get a beautiful soap dish right beautiful soap dish and then you get a lovely bar of soap, for instance, lemongrass, loofah soap. There you go. Isn't that cool? So cool. So this is a great little, great little way to display your soap because it's so beautiful. I mean, handmade soap is not only wonderful for your skin, but it's just gorgeous. And that is um, almost the last section. So the last section in our store, we have our goat milk soaps. And we have just a handful of different kinds, including our um, shea butter and goat milk body bar. But goat milk has a very fatty, thick, creamy lather. People love goat milk soaps uh, who have dry skin or those who just appreciate 
a very dense creamy lather and then there's just one more up top which is our goat milk and oats.